Hello Year 6. Normally we really enjoy welcoming you up to the science department here at Gillsborough on transition days, but we've not been able to do that this year. So I thought I'd show you a little look around one of our science labs so you can see how different they are to your normal school classrooms. And then we'll do a little bit of practical work and then you can do an activity for me over the summer holidays. So if we just have a quick look around behind me in the classroom that we've got, you can see that they are very different to the classrooms that you are used to in primary school. We've got big tall desks rather than short ones with bench stools underneath them instead of chairs. And that's because we do lots of practical work. And when we're doing practical work, we need to make sure that our chairs can be tucked completely underneath the tables so that no one trips over when they're working. So that's the first safety thing that I want to teach you today is that when you're working in science, you always have your chairs tucked in nice and neatly so that you are safe moving around our classrooms. Now, when we're doing practical, the first thing we said we need to be careful about is our safety. So, stools are tucked under and I'm stood up and then I've got the problem that I've got quite long hair. Now, anybody working in a science lab, girl or boy, if they've got long hair, needs to make sure their hair is tied up. So, when you're packing your school bags in September, if you've got longer hair, please make sure you stick some hair ties in your pencil case, just as a matter of routine, because you never know if you're going to be doing a practical when you might need it and you wouldn't want to not be able to tie your hair back when it comes to doing practical work. So, first thing I need to do is to tie my hair out of the way to make sure there's no risk of me setting fire to it, ultimately. And the next thing I need to do is to wear my safety glasses. Now, they really matter because my eyesight is something that's really hard to fix if something goes wrong. So whenever we're doing a practical in science, even though we might not like them, we make sure that we are wearing our safety glasses. Now, my Bunsen burner here is lit. And that means that we are going to be doing a little bit of chemistry in this video. And we're going to look at something called flame tests. Now, one of the things that we can do as chemists, and chemistry means the branch of science that's to do with chemicals, and you study three branches of science with us, biology, chemistry, and physics, living things, chemicals, and forces and energy are really what we're talking about there. So we're going to do a little bit of chemistry and I'm going to change my Bunsen burner from on a safety flame, which is what I always like my Bunsen burner on, and I'm just going to twist the collar at the bottom and turn it onto a roaring blue flame. So you can hear the noise there. And this flame is much, much hotter. If I were to step away, I would need to make sure that I turn it back onto a safety flame again, but I'm not going to, I'm going to be working just here next to it, so it's quite safe for me to use. And I've got here some nice bottles full of a colourless, clear liquid, but they're not water, and I can see that when I do this. So, the chemical that I'm spraying on there contains some calcium, and calcium, when you do a flame test with it, gives us a beautiful orangey red colour that we can see there. So I'm going to swap out my calcium and I'm going to take another one that we can see and we can see that we're getting a different colour flame going on in there. And we're going to do just one more, I think, of these ones here. We've got some sodium and we can spray the sodium into our flame and that gives us a beautiful yellow. Now, there's a second way that I could do this practical today. And that's with using these. I could use splints that have been soaked in water. We normally use these dry when we want to light Bunsen burners. So I might have my Bunsen burner lit on the teacher's desk and then students are able to file up wearing their safety glasses with their hair tied back and take a dry splint and light it from my Bunsen burner and then carry it carefully back to their table to light their Bunsen burner. But I'm going to use them for something slightly different because I'm going to use them to do my flame tests. So here I've got some of these chemicals that I used in my spray bottles earlier and we can then have a bit more of a close look at what colours we get. So I can take my soaked wet splint, which means it's not going to catch fire too quickly, and soak it here in my potassium chloride. And then when I put it into my flame, I can see that it burns, giving me my different 
flame test colours. Let's pop that one to one side and have a look at the calcium. So I'm going to take a clean splint, soak it in the calcium and then into my flame. And let's have a little look at the lithium. Now, there's two things I would like you to do for me in preparation for September. One of them is to do with these flame tests and it's a bit of finding out, it's a bit of research. This isn't just nice science to do because it's an interesting thing to do. These actually have a use. They have a use in the entertainment industry. So I'd like you to find out for me what use we have in one of the entertainment industries of chemicals burning to give different colours. So see if you can find out for me and you could write about it or you could draw about it or you could make a video of you about it to come and bring to me when you come up to us here in September. And the second thing I would like you to do is I've put together a little picture that's got lots of students acting in a really dangerous way in a science lab. And I want you to have a good look at that and you can circle or you can write about which way students are being dangerous in a science lab. What are the rules that we must have to keep us safe in our lab and what rules are they breaking? And I'd like you then to make a poster for me about your favourite science lab rule. What things keep us safe? So you can see from how I've worked in this video some of the ways that we can be safe. And bring that poster in at the start of your term when you come up to us here at Gillsborough and hand it in to your science teacher and then we will put them up and display them around the school to be proud of what you've done over the holidays. We really look forward to seeing you. You're going to have great fun when you come up to us and join us in our labs. So see you soon, Year 7.